All right, so I got a question from Tambi. He writes and he says, yo, Sparty, what is the proper way to reject an ex-girlfriend who has come back in your life and wants to get back with you? All right, Tambi, so here's the deal. If you're trying to come up with this extravagant plan to reject a girl who's rejected you in the past, then what that tells me is that girl's on a pedestal. And if that girl's on a pedestal, that means you are not indifferent towards her. And if you're not indifferent towards her, you are trying to get a reaction out of her. In a sense, you're trying to prove to her that you are worthy and you're trying to stick out with your rejection. You don't want to do that, right? Because if you're trying to stick out with that rejection, you aren't indifferent. And if you're not indifferent, she has power over you. And if she has power over you, she has no attraction for you, right? You always want girls to feel attraction towards you. So there shouldn't be an extravagant plan. I can't tell you how many times, in fact, this happened to me once where I called up a girl, I made a mistake at the time and I called her up, I dialed her up and I said, Hey, I, I made a mistake. I, I want to try to make things work out. What do you think? And she says, you, you, you made a huge mistake. I haven't thought about you ever. This is the best decision I've ever had not to take you back. You suck. Bye. Hangs up the phone on me. I'm like, oh, I guess she's not over it, right? So that's how it, how it looks. And you don't want that. And that happens with most guys. So you shouldn't come up with this extravagant plan. What you should do is be calm and peaceful in your rejection. You say, hey, listen, you know, I appreciate the, uh, you wanting to get back, but I've kind of moved on with my life and I think you probably should too. I think it's for the better. We didn't work out. There was a reason for that and I'm just kind of pursuing you don't want to go and list this this paragraph, text her a paragraph or whatever. You want to be calm and peaceful. You don't need to stick it to her. You don't need to do that because then you are forcing her to try to get a reaction. And if you're looking for a reaction and looking to make her regret it, it's not a good look, right? Again, the pedestal is there. And I see some people that choose to not answer. They're, they, the ex might call or the ex might text them, hey, can we talk? I kind of want to discuss our future, blah, 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 right? And I just see guys just not answer. I'm not that type of dude. I don't, you could go that route and that's totally fine. But I'm the type of dude who's, I've had respect for all my relationships. If any of my exes reach out, I answer them because I respect the relationship. I respect, respect the time that we had together and I will always answer their call. It doesn't matter whatever, I will always answer. And I'll be honest with them. I've had exes that have tried to get back with me and I've told them, listen, I don't think it's gonna work out. I don't think it's a smart plan. And it's fine and we can still be civil. I always try to be civil and I never, I never, 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 never try to burn bridges. Never, okay? So that's how I approach it, but that's just me. You don't have to answer her. You don't have to, but if you're gonna, just be calm, be cool, and just be straightforward, emotionless. That is what a true high value man does. He doesn't try to stick it, he doesn't try to get a reaction, he's just straight up, that's it.